Good evening, everyone. Today, I wanna to talk to you about building a six-month mindset transformation and trauma healing program for men. I would like to persuade the members of our community to establish this six-month live-in program that focuses on mindset transformation and trauma healing, inspired by successful women programs like Believe in Big Change. The Believe in Big Change program is a comprehensive mindfulness-based initiative. The program aims to help participants achieve a well-balanced, successful life by focusing on emotional intelligence and relapse prevention. The program specializes in addressing the impact of trauma and abuse, fostering healing and resilience. Many know that Believe in Big Change program has a positive impact on the women in our community. Today, I propose then we take the same empowering approach and create similar transformative programs for men. By providing men with a dedicated six month program focused on mindset transformation and trauma healing, we can cultivate healthier, more resilient individuals who positively contribute to our community and retain the family structure. Our community values inclusivity, support and personal growth. Implementing these programs will reinforce those values and create a more harmonious environment. I have seen the success of Believe in Big Change program and witnessed the powerful trauma healing as a rehab facilitator firsthand. In this presentation, we will examine the need for men's mindset transformation and trauma healing programs, their benefits, and how we can implement and support these programs in our community. As a society, we don't address or acknowledge that men have emotions too. In my research, I found limited resources that focused on men's mental health and trauma recovery. One study I did find was from a correctional facility where treatment has predominantly focused on reducing repeated incarceration. According to Messina ETAL 2021, treatment outcomes need to offer a variety of comprehensive measures in addition to abstinence and recidivism to account for the complex histories of trauma and abuse. In custody settings, those with childhood trauma can be treated if the program's contents addresses those histories in a safe and appropriate manner. However, fewer men could be incarcerated if we had more programs outside of the prison system. In the men who exhibit abusive behavior as adults, a high percentage have also experienced unaddressed trauma as children. 61% of men have experienced at least one traumatic event throughout their lives, according to the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration, FHE Health, no date. Still, a significant percentage goes unaddressed due to underreporting and the reluctance to seek help. Many communities have established women's programs that positively impact families with a holistic approach. These women usually are single mothers leaving abusive men. We can consider that instead of promoting only healing half the family, by providing trauma recovery for men, we could instead reunite and heal our families. Men participating in emotional intelligence focused programs will improve their mental well being and have better coping mechanisms. An important aspect of emotional intelligence, according to Psychology Today 2023, is acknowledging and managing these intense and distressing emotions. Helping men heal will nurture the well being of all the members of our community. By embracing comprehensive programs that heal our men, we pave the way for a more harmonious, resilient and thriving society. Men who engage in group-based therapy programs potentially experience a significant increase in the feelings of belonging and support, and this will lead to reduced feelings of isolation. As a community, many successful programs exist for women, so it is easy to create the same structure for men to follow the same format. As a society, we must emphasize integrating men's mental health programs into community support networks to maximize the outreach and effectiveness. There is developing evidence for programs such as the one out of Europe called Men in Mind that is gaining acceptability, feasibility, and potential efficacy. The online program focused solely on men's mental health needs. Sedler, 2022. Mental health professionals in the community are undoubtedly in need of targeted training on engaging men as evidenced by these results. We must recognize that men's mental health and trauma healing are priorities. So those supporting similar women's programs will also secure 
funding for our fathers and sons. As a call to action, we have to recognize that we are only healing half the population by healing women. We need to identify and provide grants and resources for community-based mental health initiatives specifically designed to support our men. By establishing a six-month mindset transformation and trauma healing program for men, we can break down the gender stereotypes, address, address unaddressed trauma, promote emotional intelligence, and strengthen social connections. Let us reunite as a community to embrace inclusivity, support and growth, ensuring a brighter and more resilient future for us all. Together, we can empower our men and inspire positive change. Thank you for listening. Have a good night.